Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I want to give you the update for today as well as um, talk about the social media accounts of um, Babysitter as well as the grandma. So today's update from Chatham County Police Department states that today marks one week since Quentin was reported missing. We will be at his home where he was last seen with a team of search dogs and investigators. We will spend today gathering and analyzing evidence. We expect to schedule a media briefing tomorrow. So um, in regards to that, I will obviously bring you the press conference. Okay, so I'll definitely show you that tomorrow. Whenever it happens, I will go live with it. Now, this here is the grandmother's page. As you could see, it says this content isn't available right now. When it happens, it's usually because the owner only shared it with a small group of people, changed who can see it, or it's been deleted. Um, I'm going to go with it's likely been deleted, uh, at least uh, temporarily deleted, right? The last that she had on there was only a profile picture that was on the timeline. She then put up a post that I read to you guys. She ended up removing that post, as I kind of thought she might have. Um, she did. She did remove it. The post that I read to you guys in, I believe, yesterday's update. Um, but the other thing that I want to show you is the babysitter. And let me take you there. So last night, the babysitter ended up coming back on to Facebook live and talking, um, trying to explain some things. So I'm going to push play and let you listen to that right now. Good evening. Mm, I've been debating a while about going live. Um, but if I don't go live and I don't tell, you know, people are asking different things, then, you know, I'm not helping Quentin. Um, but you're going to see a lot of different videos come out. And one of them is with his grandmother barging into my house. And the reason she barged into my house and anything that I'm saying on here, I have proof of. Um, she barged into my house and I already made a video of this, but I need to clear some things up. She barged into my house because I offered to cook for her. and to put flyers out. Um, I don't understand why it made her so mad. She told me I was overstepping because I was just the babysitter. But if my child or my grandchildren was missing and I do have grandkids, I would want any and everyone to help me. I was very emotional the other night when I went live because we were missing Quentin. We have all been worried about Quentin. Um, I don't get on here for attention. Um, I get on here because people say stay away from social media. But I need y'all to know when something is posted or I talk to someone that I need to explain when something happens the truth, not my side, not their side, but the truth, because a lot of people are saying, well, you're the babysitter. You should have did more. Look, I did what I thought was best. Defects was aware of the situation. People can say, no, they wasn't or they would have took them. Look, I don't know all the circumstances, but I know defects was aware. And I know that I did contact the grandmother a lot via text or calling because she had custody. 
defects was aware of this. She did barge in my house and she did get mad because she said I was putting up a memorial for her grandson. No, I never said that. I didn't know getting some people together praying for Quentin was putting up a memorial. I didn't know that cooking her food was overstepping my boundaries. I thought that that's what you should do um, when a family is going through something. So you're going to see a lot. You're going to hear a lot. But what I'm telling you is the truth. I did my best with these kids. I'm going to say this one more time because I get probably 2,000 messages a day. Defects was involved 100%. I don't know what they seen. I know what was told. I do have pictures. Now, these babies didn't come to me every day with bruises. Quentin did have bruises, but he also fell a lot because he ran. I wasn't there. I don't know if his mother beat him or gave him them bruises. Um, all I know is that when he was here, he was taken care of. The right people knew what was going on. It was up to them to fix this. It was not just me that seen this. It was half of the neighbors on this block, on this road. And not only did I say I was worried and did something about it, so did half of the people on our road. So I'm praying that Quentin is safe. I have faith in God that he is in this situation. I have nothing to hide. And I've been contacted by so many people to do different things. And I'm not doing it. I don't want the attention. Uh, if Who would want attention with a baby missing? Like somebody would have to be, you know, it, it's just horrible to think that people would want it get attention when a child is missing. So, no, it's not that. We did care and love and do love Quentin very, very much. And for all these people that are assuming and saying things, please don't. Please don't. Don't assume and don't say things unless you know it to be true. Because half of this stuff that is being put out is not true. And it really hurts the fact that everyone is worried about Quentin. And you're just making this so bad when it should only be about Quentin. Not about me. Not about his grandmother. About Quentin. So I don't want to do no more lives. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying now. That's why I've repeated myself several times. I don't want no more messages. I don't want people coming by my house taking pictures of me and my daughters. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened when she come into my house. She thought I was trying to make a memorial, and I never did and never would have because I believe Quentin is alive. I just don't know where he is. So I hope everyone has a good night. Thank you for all the positive, positive comments. Thank you for all the people praying for Quentin, this precious baby. Um, and that's all I got to say. Thank you. So that's what she had to say. Um, I mean, I thought I heard uh, some things there that were a bit inconsistent from before, but but then maybe not. And so um, I don't know, but I am curious what you guys think. Uh, either way, I just wanted to give you guys the updates and show you what was happening on their social media accounts and uh, the update for today. So press conference will be tomorrow and I will live stream it.
Um, but if there any other updates come out today, I will, um, well, I'll update you on the updates. Hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.